This is Adel Gasly. I'm going to present to you part one of the chapter about DC machines. In this part, I will cover the introduction. Most of the electric machines can be used as generators or motors. Generators receive mechanical input power and generate electrical output power, while motors receive electrical input power and generate mechanical output power. The operation of rotating electrical machines is based on the principle of electromechanical energy conversion. The conversion takes place inside the machine, where magnetic fluxes and forces are generated based on the electromagnetic current and fluxes interaction. These forces are translated into torque on the shaft of the machine. As mentioned earlier, if the energy flows from the electrical source to the mechanical shaft, then the machine operates as a motor. And if the energy flows from the mechanical shaft to the electrical terminals, then the machine operates as a generator. If the losses inside the machine are neglected, and using the power conservation rule, we can write that the electrical power equals the mechanical power where the electric power is the product of the terminal voltage and current and the mechanical power is the torque on the shaft multiplied by the speed of the shaft. Even though it is considered that most of the electrical machines in service are of alternating current type, direct current machines are of considerable industrial importance. DC machines are mainly used as DC motors and the DC generators are nowadays rarely used with few exceptions such as alternators in the cars. DC motors provide a fine control of the speed which cannot be attained by AC motors so in some applications it is favorable to use DC motors instead of AC motors such as run robotic applications in surgery. Unlike some AC motors, such as induction motors, DC motors can develop rated torque at all speeds from standstill to rated speed. Developed torque at standstill is many times greater than that of the torque developed by the AC motors of equal power and speed rating. Now let us see some examples of applications of large and small DC machines. Large DC motors are used in machine tools, printing presses, fans and pumps, cranes, traction, paper mill, textile mills, steel mills, aluminium mill and so forth. Small DC machines with a fractional horsepower rating are used primarily as control devices such as taco generators for speed sensing and servo motors for positioning and tracking. The advantages of DC machines can be enumerated as follows. They produce high starting torque, they have rapid acceleration and deceleration, their speed can be easily controlled over wide speed range. They are used in tough jobs such as traction motors, electric trains, electric cars, etc. And they are built in wide range of sizes. However, they have also some disadvantages which are they need regular maintenance because of their brushes and commutator. They cannot be used in hazardous and explosive area and they exhibit high cost because of their complex armature construction. That is why they cannot compete with their AC counterpart in many applications. This is the end of this part. Thank you for watching.